Hello, I'm going to do the September reading for Gemini and see what messages we have for Gemini. All right. What messages do we have for Gemini in September? That one came out facing up. When I picked it up and I was holding it, it kind of turned. But I saw it when it fell out, it was face up. All right, this whole stack came out. I feel like somebody's coming back into your life that you've been separated from. Because this is missing someone from afar and then this is someone from your past coming back into your life. So I feel like it's somebody, someone that you've been, someone that you had a good relationship with before is coming back, that you've been separated from is coming back into your life. So let me just... focus a little bit more. What messages do we have for Gemini? For Gemini in September. What other messages do we have for Gemini for September? So I feel like it's been a heavy burden on you that there's somebody that you've been wanting to have come back into your life. And I'm not saying it's not it's not a toxic relationship. It's not somebody that you fought with. It's not somebody that you were breaking up with and arguing. It's not a negative relationship that's coming back into your life. It's somebody who you had a positive loving relationship with and for whatever reason the two of you were separated either they had to move to another country they had to move to another state you had to move they had other stuff going on they weren't they weren't ready for a relationship whatever that reason was that the two of you got separated maybe they needed to grow maybe you needed to grow maybe you know, whatever the circumstances. But it was a positive relationship that the two of you, you sort of had this burden on your back that you've just kind of, you always wanted them to come back into your life. Um, you had always hoped that this was going to work out, but it just didn't, the timing wasn't right, but it was a positive relationship, not a toxic one. Okay, because I'm feeling positive. 
Six of Cups is a positive pa uh, relationship that you had with someone. This is positive memories of your childhood or it's a reconciliation with someone that you had a positive relationship with. Okay, and the sun card is here, very bright. Um, you know, it was bright, positive, happy. We have the um, magician and we have the eternity sign, which is individual empowerment or everlasting love. Um, the magician is somebody who um, believes in yourself and you're headed in the right direction, okay? Um, can make things happen, okay? Um, you're headed in the direction to be meeting back up with this person. Um, for some of you, not going to be every single person that watches this. Um, maybe it will be, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power. But I feel that, um, like I said, for some of you that have had a past relationship with someone, with a partner, that, that you got separated, it's been a burden on your back, you've been thinking about it, and they're going to be coming back into your life. There's a plan that's been put into place, okay, that things are going to happen for you. Um, this is work and patience rewarded. Patience, the patience that you've had of of waiting for this person that divine timing is finally finally working for you to reunite the two of you i just when when i saw that and then, and then this when i saw this and then this popped out i knew it was a reunion i felt really i felt really strong about that so that's why I like to just sit and focus on the cards and feel the cards because I feel like the message that comes out is stronger. Because when I give a reading, I want to give 100%. I want to, I don't just want to pick cards and make a story from it. I want to feel the cards, I want to feel the emotions. I want to feel what the reading is for. Yeah, you've been kind of stressing about this. Um, I don't feel like it's totally affected your, you know, like you're not sitting there night after night, week after week, missing this person, but I feel like it's, it's just been a burden on you. Like you've you've always thought about it in the back of your mind. Like you've gone on, you've moved on with your life, um, and but you've never forgot about them. You never forgot about them. And you just wanted them to come back into your life, but timing wasn't right. All right, what other messages do we have for, you know what, I feel like, let's switch decks here. What messages do we have for Gemini for September? September, fall, Gemini.
again. Maybe this came out twice because the both of you have been maybe staying up at night, thinking about getting back together, um, wishing that things had worked out. And maybe that's why, you know, that the two of you get back together and have that union. Okay. Could be with the King of Pentacles, but the King of Pentacles is also somebody who's very patient. Could be with an earth sign. The Empress. The Empress, I feel like, is a new beginning. Um, good fortune, abundance, nurturing, a happy relationship. It also could represent marriage, birth, or pregnancy. But I feel like all of those are new beginnings. And I just feel like it represents that the two of you are having a new beginning. All right, we have judgment. And then we have page of cups, an offer coming in, okay? An offer's coming in. I feel like that person is going to be connecting with you, okay? Um, this also represents a renewal and a revival. A reward for past efforts and karma. I just feel like it keeps repeating itself as a renewal. A renewal of the two of you getting back together. A revival of your relationship. An awakening. This one came out upside down, the Knight of Swords. This represents, this way it's quick moving energy, so. I feel like this also represents um, impatient, but I feel like this, this way it's meaning patient, slow, steady progress. You have to be patient that this, it, it's, it's on its way. They're on their way. All right. Eight of Cups. Um, setting out on a new path. Leaving the emotional baggage behind. Okay. The things that have happened. Let's see. This is just temporary, that the two of you are separated right now and you're both staying up at night because I think the two of you are just really thinking about each other and thinking about that you want to get to back together with this person. The wish card. Your wish has been to get back together with this person. Okay. Your wish was that that worked out.
You wish that the two of you always got together, you know, that, that, that timing was better. And now the timing is right because that offer comes in, okay? That person, the two of you, I feel like that, I feel like I'm picking up a lot of the other person's energy too. That the other person's been thinking about you. The other person has been thinking about your relationship. All right. We have the magician again. Um, is the magician no? Magician also represents big changes, okay? Big changes, new beginnings. A plan has been put into action. Let's see, can you see all the cards? Sorry. There. All right, let's pick, let's see, if, pick a couple more cards. Let's see if any more cards want to come out from this one and I, I'm feeling like maybe I should switch back to the other deck. Let's do a few more shuffles. Major change and transformation. I feel like the major change and transformation is because the two of you are getting back together that you never thought it was going to happen. You always wanted it to happen, but you never thought it was going to happen because you thought that the two of you were just sort of went your separate ways and <coughs> you were wondering if that was even going to happen for you. And... <coughs> You just weren't really sure. All right, I'm going back to the original deck. Queen of Swords, okay. I feel like that could represent you. And then we have the King of Pentacles came out. So it could be you with a an, you air sign and an earth sign. Earth being Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, let's see. Are there any more messages that need to come out for Gemini for the month of September? Right now you're thinking that this can't happen. This is what you've been thinking. You've been closed off to love. You're like, no, this isn't going to happen. I'm not going to be able to reunite with this person. Um, this isn't going to happen. Look at that. Your card. Lovers. Gemini. Okay, <laughs> wake up, wake up, <laughs> awakening, oh, awakening, all right, why do I feel like that's weird, yeah, that's what I thought, <laughs> again, repeating, Eight of Cups. 
setting out on that new path, you have to leave the emotional baggage that you have behind, okay? Whatever happened in the past between the two of you, um, you have to, you have to, have to, have to leave that emotional baggage behind. Yes, it was a positive relationship, but, you know, every relationship has its ups and downs. So maybe part of the reason that the two of you went your separate, like, when you went your separate ways, you were hurt. Um, you felt let down. You felt disappointed. You... It hurt so much because you cared so much about that person that you didn't want to, but like you knew it was right that the two of you went your separate ways, but yet it still hurt because you cared so much for that person, you know? Um, that you can't let that hurt when that person comes back into your life, you can't bring that hurt with you and you can't punish them for what happened because it needed to happen and you both needed to grow so that way when the two of you get back together, it's so much stronger and in such a better place that it has a better chance of lasting a lifetime. All right, that, that's what I'm feeling. Whew. King of Swords, okay? We have this couple here, the King and Queen of Swords. Whew. Okay. I looked at the bottom of the deck, have that strength again. The infinity sign, everlasting love, individual empowerment. Be strong, okay? There's this, this couple is here. Okay, let's um, get a romance angel. I feel like this is representing the couple, having the power okay, to make things happen, and big changes are on their way, okay, you're not going to have to carry that burden anymore, you're going to leave your emotional baggage behind when the two of you reunite, okay, because this is in between, okay, you got the lover's card, two people becoming one, all right, you know, that's you, Gemini. And we have the King and Queen of Swords, air signs, Gemini, representing the couple coming back together. I felt like this was you, she came out first, and then he came out last, okay? Maybe it's taking him. The reason why you have to be patient is because it's taking him a little while to process things, okay? Could be that this is you. Maybe it's taken you a little longer to process things be before you reach out to her. But there is an offer that's made, okay? That the two of you did have a past uh, relationship. And it's always been your wish to reunite, okay? We have the wedding card. Um... We also had the Empress in here somewhere, and she represents wedding. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling wedding. Um, I also feel that this card represents a committed relationship. Um, but, you know, I feel like for some of you it could lead to wedding because... The two of you really cared about each other and just you reuniting just really, you know, really is a strong bond. Um, heart to heart conversation, when you do get back together, you do have to talk about things. 
but you do also have to leave your emotional baggage behind, okay? You can't come at them and attack and say, blah, 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 because... You have to be so thankful that the two that you the two of you were given this time to work on yourselves before the two of you came back together. That it wasn't healthy for you two when you were together before. Yes, it was a good relationship, but you know, it, it just wasn't ready. The timing wasn't right. Okay. And now the timing is right. Very soon. I feel like this is going to happen soon. Okay. Whew. I don't know why I'm like out of breath. Couldn't catch my breath. Maybe that's how you feel. <laughs> You can't catch your breath when you hear that message, when you get that message. Let me see. You know what I wanted to do? Where's my Lenormand? What did I do with that? Lenormand. Let's see. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Man, I always feel like there's two men and two women in the Lenormand deck, and one of the men and one of the women is holding a heart, a flower, a rose. So I feel like when that one comes out, that represents relationships, okay? It represents a relationship. So, relationship. Okay. The sun. We got the sun in here somewhere, didn't we? Yeah. The sun. The sun again. Okay. The sun. Look at this. The woman came out. Yeah. <laughs> it just keeps repeating itself. All right. The same messages. Keep repeating itself, all right? And this is the same thing, too, okay? So this is um, hope, childhood, fond childhood memories. I just feel like it's, I get, this is, you know, saying that again, that that person from your past is coming back in, um, Another couple here. We have King and Queen of Swords. Okay, so it it just really keeps repeat. This is this is kind of fun. I I like that. You know, it's been a few different decks that it does keep, you know, repeating itself. All right, let's see, is there any other decks that I want to use? Um, no. Let's end with this. The flowers, okay? Joy, happiness, all right? Maybe he sends you flowers. Maybe she sends you flowers. Maybe you send them flowers, okay? 
But again, I feel like in September that someone that you had a positive, good relationship with is going to get in touch with you, okay? Maybe they send you flowers. Hey, I've been thinking about you. Um, the two of you are thinking, let's see, where is it? The two of you have been thinking about each other, okay? Been staying up, you've been in each other's, back of each other's mind, okay? Um, hasn't been super stressful, but, you know, you've missed that person, okay? And I feel like this person is going to be coming back into your life very soon, and it's going to be serious um, because, you know, we have the king and queen of swords and in the Lenormand deck we have you know the man and the woman okay another couple we have the wish card it's been your wish for the two of you to get back together and the timing is right now okay the timing is right now for the two of you to get get together your card came out okay there's going to be an offer coming in. Maybe they send you flowers. This is a magical time for you, okay? That burden of, of missing that person, you know, that's going to be off your back, tens or completions. And I, I, I just, I feel like for some of you, it's a serious relationship. <laughs> be strong, have patience. And hang in there, okay? Um, there is a plan in, in place for a new beginning for you. You're going to be rewarded for being patient, okay? Good things come to those who wait, as my grandmother always said. Changes are on their way. It's a good thing. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.